George Mason comes in six and five in conference. The good news for the Patriots, the A-10 tournament this year in Washington, D.C., not too far away from campus. Kim English talked about in terms of recruiting, as they say there, and the Rams have the first possession. But he talked about recruiting. He doesn't really need to leave the area. It's so fruitful in terms of finding great quality players and to have the tournament there as well. That certainly bodes into staying local, staying at home. Fordham does an outstanding job of playing the passing lanes as well. Uh, Cologne Navarro is an outstanding on-ball defender, excellent at help. Rose Charlton as well, stout defensive players. And here you'll see this is a coaching approach where Fordham will play far off of what they view as non-shooters, Chris, and dare them to line it up and knock it down. And Odora have been doubled on every interior touch. Ohams doesn't care. He's been outstanding. I mean, really. Nice extra. They are certainly finding the open man, the ball movement. Nice cut there by Schwartz. Another cut. Wow, this is terrific basketball here. Lake Jones deposits oh. two. So difficult to defend and outstanding to watch from someone who loves the game. What? Locked down on these drives. Golly. Hello, Navarro. Nowhere close. Charlton gets the O board. Big shot. Third chance for the Rams. Big offensive rebound. Just for their confidence sake, they need to see this ball go in the basket. And number one in white has been doing it all afternoon. So, of course, he comes to the rescue. Get to the basket if he can. Cannot. Instead of three, Andrew Charlton. Huge boost there as the Rams go down only by two at halftime. Oh, hands. Quick pass. Are you kidding me? Yes, sir. Outstanding. Outstanding kick out by O'Hams. The extra to Sembila on the block. The conference's leading scorer at 19 a game. That time Maduro makes a play defensively on the cross court pass. Well done there as they were reading his eyes. And that those are the finds that Johnson has in his back. That's solid balance, but you may want to get an extra guy running at the rim for an offensive rebound. Good pressure there from Johnson. He's got a trail. There it is. And that's about as well executed as any George Mason attack so far in the second half as Deshaun Schwartz finishes it off. I tell you, Johnson has been everywhere, knocking down threes, but now getting into the passing lanes. This man has been the one that's doubled Oduro, who has it on the post. Beautiful spin! He goes baseline! And sends a message at Rose Hill Gym. You have to feel like if Oduro was in the game and there. Coach English gives the magic finger, points at Oduro. He's checking in. Oh, hands. Oh, yeah. 17 for the six year senior from the Bronx. The way that Oduro tried in the post, well, he had a simple bounce pass to Johnson for a layup. The well is dried up. Both teams struggling to score in a one-point game. Less than a minute left. Rose with the lead. Bullseye. College basketball, baby. I love it. Needs to be a little bit cautious here in terms of how he gets on the rift. Look at that follow-through. Absolutely beautiful. In and out of the front end. Take it to the rim now. Don't settle. Oh, the ball off the foot. Schwartz goes diving. He turns it over. Giveaway number 16 for George Mason. A huge one. And luck just has not been on George Mason's side. You could argue that all season long. But here, just coming down and getting himself set. Let me get one more. Wow, Hartwell, Hartwell cut to make luck. him. A three to tie. Short follow-up slam. That wouldn't have done it. And Fordham gets the home win. Hard ball. That's, that's a really bitter pill for Hartwell. He has struggled to shoot the ball this season, but he's actually a very good shooter. He's made 47 threes in his sophomore season. Wide open look here, good execution. He was the man that Fordham dared to line it up and knock it down, and it was just that close to send this into overtime.